Many animal lovers dream of keeping a wolf dog. But how well are these hybrids adapted to living with humans? The first crossbreeding of a dog and a wolf was recorded in Great Britain in 1766. A spitz mated with a male wolf. The resulting litter looked like wolves, but had a softer temperament. As a rule, such special purpose dogs are bred by biological scientists as assistance to special services, military, hunters, and rescuers. So what makes wolf dogs better than dogs? Watch this video and find out. According to breeders, hybrids are characterized by greater endurance. A German Shepherd can run for about 20 kilometers a day, while a wolf dog manages to run for up to 200 kilometers. Crossbreeds are characterized by courage and fearlessness, good immunity, extremely high intelligence. A wolf's brain is 30% larger than that of a dog. Sharp senses of smell, sight, and hearing, their sense of smell is five times sharper than that of a dog, and life expectancy of up to 30 years. They do not bark, they howl. Not all dog breeds are suitable for crossbreeding. Today, there are two officially recognized hybrids of a dog and a wolf, the Czechoslovakian wolf dog and the Dutch Sarlus wolf dog. There are also hybrids that have not been registered for various reasons. The Czechoslovakian wolf dog. Its breeding began in 1955 in a shelter in Lubijovic. The breed was bred from a female wolf named Britta and a male German Shepherd. This wolf dog currently has 30% wolf blood. Wolf dogs are meant to have endurance, strength, and instincts of a wolf, combined with a dog's performance and controllability. The first experiments were successful. The resulting hybrid of a wolf and a dog successfully served in border patrols. In the 1970s, representatives of the breed were exported to Britain. The wolf dog is active, smart, and highly trainable. Maximum attention needs to be paid to the pup's socialization in order to avoid aggression to smaller animals in the future. The Sarlo's Wolf Dog This hybrid of a wolf and a dog was bred in Holland in 1925 by the breeder Lindert Sarlus. The crossbreed originated from a female wolf Fleur and a male German Shepherd. The best puppies were selected for further breeding. The breed was recognized and registered in 1981. This wolf dog is quite large. Its height reaches up to 76 centimeters at the withers and it weighs up to 42 kilograms. They are independent live by the laws of the pack, but are loyal to their owner and recognize them as the leader. Sarlu's wolf dogs are cautious and prefer to avoid danger, but this natural timidness doesn't cause aggression. It's interesting that hybrids do not bark, but rather use wolf-like sounds to communicate. Dogs crossed with wolves are used as rescuers and guides. They have a well-developed hunting instinct, which allows people to use this breed as hunting dogs. This wolf dog is quite rare, and the price for its puppies can go as high as $2,000. The Kunming Wolf Dog This wolf dog was bred in China in the early 1950s by military dog breeders. The breed was named after the city of Kunming, the capital of the Yunnan province, where it originated. It is commonly called the Chinese Wolf Dog. The Kunming Wolf Dog was officially recognized in 1988. The hybrid turned out to be quite large. The photo shows its formidable appearance. Its height at the withers can reach up to 70 centimeters and it can weigh up to 40 kilograms. The ancestors of these dogs, as in many other cases, are unknown. The selection was conducted exclusively on the basis of working skills and the results of training. In addition to 10 German Shepherds with wolf blood, 90 local dogs of an unknown breed and purebred German Shepherds took part in the breeding. The Kunming dog serves in the army and the police, where it helps search for mines and drugs and perform rescue work. 
and makes an excellent guard dog. Many people also have these wolf dogs for pets. They are close to German Shepherds in temperament. They're easy to train, active, smart and curious, but they can display dominant qualities and therefore require a firm hand. Lupo Italiano This hybrid of a wolf and a dog was bred in Italy in 1966 under the supervision of Dr. Mario Messi. He crossed a wolf, one of the last representatives of the local mountain species, with a German Shepherd. Lupo Italiano is perfectly adapted for living in the mountains. It tolerates the local climate and can survive without food and water for a long time. In addition, this wolf dog has a great sense of smell and assists in searching for drugs and explosives. Lupo Italiano is smart, loyal to his owner, and follows them everywhere. Dogs of this breed served during the Olympic Games in Turin. A special decree by the President of Italy prohibits the unsupervised breeding and sale of dogs of this breed. The Wolomute. This hybrid wolf dog became popular in 2000. It is actually a cross between the Alaskan Malamute and the Timber Wolf. Representatives of this breed can look quite different. There is no single standard. Their sizes can also vary from 60 to 75 centimeters in height and from 22 to 55 kilograms in weight. Wolomutes are active and require daily exercise. They feel good in a large space but they should be enclosed with a high fence to prevent them from running away. The possibility of them digging under the fence should also be kept in mind. Texas Wolf Dogs Barry Hetvet is a leading expert on crossing wolves and dogs. He has been doing it for a long time. He mainly works with Arctic wolves and the already existing hybrids of wolves and Indian dogs. The largest individuals can grow up to 90 centimeters at the withers and weigh as much as 50 kilograms. The American Tundra Shepherd The American Tundra Shepherd is a wonderful shepherd dog and rescuer, a devoted guard and companion, a vigilant watchdog. Initially, this breed was bred for the purposes of serving the U.S. military that needed strong, courageous, versatile dogs in their service. It was a government experiment to cross a German Shepherd with a Tundra Wolf, which resulted in them getting the American Tundra Shepherd. The first puppies of this breed weren't suitable for service in the armed forces because they didn't meet certain criteria. For example, they were non-aggressive and poorly trainable. The experiment was considered unsuccessful. The military closed the breeding program for these dogs. However, the breeding work was continued by civilians who found these dogs promising, so they developed the breed to what it is today. However, despite the huge popularity in their homeland, this breed hasn't been recognized by any of the canine organizations. The Heron Wolf Dog Heron Wolf Dog, also known as Lobito, is a grazing hound for small cattle, recognized by the Royal Dog Society of Spain. The Lobito has a robust appearance and a lively temperament. They are very restless, have high resilience and an excellent reaction time. These dogs are quite suspicious of strangers, but they will never attack without reason. They display great loyalty to their owners and all family members. The Features of Wolf Dogs How is a wolf different from a dog and what are the peculiarities of keeping wolf dogs? Wolf dogs often retain wolf instincts. Their behavior can be destructive. They are often aggressive towards smaller animals and even children. At the same time, wolf dogs don't fear humans and can even compete with their owners for leadership. This characteristic makes them even more dangerous than wild wolves. These animals are very strong and such conflicts can have serious consequences. One should keep in mind that a wolf dog can be socialized, but this does not mean that it can be fully domesticated. Wolf dogs' natures can vary greatly even within a single litter. The inheritance of wild animal traits is not directly dependent on the percentage of wolf blood. 
it should be understood that wolf dogs are not for amateurs. You need to know their traits, have extensive experience in dog training, and know wolf habits. Well, that's all, friends. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.